opportunity to acquire as much as we want to acquire and go where we want to go. Hey friends, good morning. We all have this. Good Monday morning to you on the 20th of September. A fantasy that has been foisted on us by 20, our culture. 2021. As you can see, I'm uh, much better, feel much better. My voice is, is much better uh, from my little COVID debacle last month. Moreover, what I have here is something that I'm going to be blasting. I'm just going to go over a few things that you, a potential customer, need be aware of if you hire um, a blaster to do something that has some areas that can be damaged and need to be covered. And I'm just taking a, a it's, it's a, it's kind of a time consuming process to do this. But uh, it's worth it. Let me just show you and, and tell you and, and show you. So um, here's an early 70s Honda motorcycle gas tank with a corresponding frame. Now, the shop that sent me this covered this up with the, this yellow painter's tape, which is totally inadequate for what's going to happen in the blasting process. They also put yellow tape over the um, ID badge. So I put five or six layers of duct tape underneath it and one larger layer over the top. And what's gonna happen is when I blast, I'm gonna wear away this tape, cause it to be ruined, but the underlying metal plate will not be. Then we can pretty so determine the translation of that, and when the uh, when the person addresses it after it's done blasting, right along the tip of the uh, the knife or the razor blade here is where they will conduct hand sanding operations because there will still be some black paint close to the plate. So that'll have to be hand sanded, and then they'll retape the plate up and prime it. Up here, this end looked just like the other end here, and I put about the same amount of tape on here. Um, I'll try to get this thing on here. Put, uh, put about the same amount of tape here. And then I just let it overhang about, you know, three to four millimeters. And this will push up a little bit, but I'm going to, when I blast, I'm going to orient the nozzle so it's about 15 degrees aiming in the direction of my finger, okay? So the blasting will come this way and drive down because if I was, was to come like this and drive the blast, it would rip off the uh, the tape. So the circumference of where the bearing race goes, where this black paint is that needs to come off, that will have to be hand sanded also. Okay? On the gas tank itself, this is a lot of, there's a lot of detail in here, in this area. Um, that where the, I'm gonna use this little red uh, spray nozzle to illustrate. This pin right here, I just called the uh, shop that sent me this and, and asked permission to drive this pin out along with this pin here. And he gave me the, gave me the permission because if, if not, I'd have to tape this up and it wouldn't be very clean. It would be very dirty still in here. <clears throat> it wouldn't, wouldn't be a good blasting job. So I'm interested in getting it done really well. Um, so, and I'll put a plug in here, an expanding uh, plumber's plug, you know, put it in and expand it out. So I'll be able to blast this rim or the ring here really cleanly. Also underneath here, um, you know, underneath this latch release mechanism. Okay. So I'm going to have to drive that pin out. And he'll have to replace those pins with um, aftermarket ones or new ones from Honda or 
just any standard stuff off of Amazon. We were. So, not John the Baptist, Mary Magdalene. This is prepping out of a vehicle gas or a motorcycle gas tank. Also, those little holes there, I'll plug those up. Um, or tape them up, and all this underneath here will be blasted nice and clean. Have a real good gas tank when we're done. Same way with the frame. So, that's uh, the process in, in preparing um, small items. You know, you could take it to your quote sandblaster and they would, you know, run roughshod over it. And uh, <laughs> in terms of media, media would be very rough and it would, you know, you would lose the ability to read. Let me see if I can get these numbers. Okay, this is a CB350 motorcycle. So that's early 70s. Um, so you'd lose the ability to read those numbers. When I'm done, those numbers will be just as legible as they are right now. Okay, well, that's it, folks. Just wanted to, just wanted to capture that for you in this, in this moment. And I see a little dirt on, this, on, the, uh, on the camera lens. Hopefully that's not affecting it. Okay, have a good day, folks. Be good, be happy, be good to one another. Be good to one another, that's all you can do. Okay, see ya, bye.